Good morning, good morning. We've got yogurt bowls. Hello and good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. It's a nice Saturday morning. We are outside, that's right. Grace and I enjoying our yogurt bowls. Mmm. <laughs> Steven's working on the pool. We're all just, just hanging, getting the day to a nice Daddy. slow start. Daddy at the pool, that's right. He's getting it all ready for us to swim in today. I'm excited for this weekend. I've been really looking forward to it. We have like some plans, but a lot of just hanging out at home. Our first more chill weekend in a while. Nanny. And uh, Nanny. what? Nanny. Night night? Mommy. Mommy? Nanny. Mommy should go night night? Mommy could use a nap. And this weekend is when we're gonna do our big garden expansion too. We're gonna assemble the two new raised beds, fill them with a ton of soil, transfer in all of the seedlings over here. It's the last time they're gonna be outside like this in their little trays. Seeds. Seeds. Yes, we're gonna move them into the garden tomorrow. Most of that's probably gonna be tomorrow, but I figured I'd go ahead and start the vlog today. We can do a combo of the two days, nice little weekend vlog. Might be a little sporadic, might jump around a little bit more than normal as I just kind of pick up the camera whenever I can, whenever I think of it too, um, and just enjoy the weekend. So that's it, that's what it's gonna be. We're gonna enjoy our breakfast. Grace and I just got dressed and ready. This is the shirt she picked for me today. She's gotten very into picking, she's always liked picking her clothes, but I'd say in the past month or so, she's gotten really into choosing what I wear. So I'd like to let her do that a lot. It's really fun. And then I knew I wanted to wear denim shorts today. She helped me decide on these ones. They're the Target Ava and Viv. Steven's family is coming over in like an hour and a half. And Steven was like, I'd be happy to do all the, the cleaning and the prep if you just want to take care of Grace. So I'm going to take her to Dollar Tree and we'll pick out some of those little like mushrooms and figurines and fairies and stuff to decorate the garden since she loves that so much. We found them. Wow, there's so many cute ones. This one has mushrooms on it and it says, welcome. Mushroom. Mushroom, that's right. Here are the ones we decided on. How freaking cute. We also got some little pots here for the seedlings I'm giving to family and friends. Good job. Oh, how exciting. Bye bye toddler tree, that's right. You wanna open the mushrooms? So we'll be able to open those when we get home and then we can decorate the garden with them. Does that sound good? Yeah. yeah. We got what we wanted at Dollar Tree and I just got the notification that my Lowe's order is ready for pickup, which wasn't supposed to be ready for another couple hours. So timing worked out perfectly. We're gonna go get it right now. It's, uh, it's all of the soil for the two new raised beds and it is quite a lot. So I figured it would be easier to do pickup so it's all right there and they can just put it right in the car. Open the mushrooms. When we get home, we'll use them to decorate the garden. Does that sound good? Yeah. Yeah, okay. We're just gonna make a quick stop at Lowe's and then we'll go home, okay? Go home. You don't wanna go home? No. Do you know who's gonna be there though? Grandma Lisa, Grandpa Jim, and Uncle Mikey. Look at all that dirt, Grace. That dirt. All dirt, that's right. That's the mushroom, that's right. And look, here's some of the little fairies. The little welcome signs. You want to take these out and decorate the garden? Yeah. Yeah, me too. It is noon, Steven's family is over, we just had lunch, about to hit the pool. Perfect opportunity to wear my cute new Fabletic swimsuit. <laughs> well, we had just such a nice time out in the pool, hanging in the yard. It's a beautiful day. It is really starting to feel like summer in San Diego. And such great, great quality time with Steven's family. His brother is living in Colorado right now, so we don't get to see him very much. So it's really special that he's in town right now. We're trying to soak in all of the time that we can. We have plans with them on Tuesday as well. We're gonna go down to the beach, watch the sunset, have a little picnic. But we're wrapping things up 
for today. It's about three o'clock. And Steven and I have some fun plans for the evening here. We wanted to see the new Guardians of the Galaxy movie. And so did our friends who also have young kids. And we've done this before with them for other movies, but instead of, you know, having to organize childcare and get a sitter, we go in like two waves. So me and my friend are gonna go and the dads will be with the kids. And then we swap and we're with the kids. The dads go see the movie and it works out really great because we each get to have time with our friend and time with the kids and we don't have to worry about childcare. So I'm excited. I'm a little behind on Marvel movies. I haven't seen Ant-Man and I feel like there's one other thing I haven't watched either. I don't know. I, I'm starting to get a little bit of Marvel fatigue. There's just, there's just so much. And I only got into the MCU uh, during the pandemic. Actually, when I was pregnant with Grace, I was so nauseous at the beginning of my pregnancy. So I was spending a lot of time just laying in bed, watching movies. And I had like run out of watching all of the things that I normally watch. And Steven was like, this is the time. Like, just give it a chance, try it. And I thought that like Marvel movies were just, I don't know, dumb superhero movies, which I guess they are, but I also now love them. And they are, they are more than dumb superhero movies. I'll say that. So I got into the MCU during the pandemic and I was like bummed on all the theatrical experiences that I had missed out on, like seeing Endgame in theaters. I remember Steven talking about it and like just saying it was the most amazing thing. And I just like really couldn't have cared less at the time. But then as things started opening up again, like I got to see Shang-Chi in theaters. That was the first MCU movie I saw in theaters. And I was like, this is, amazing and it was amazing but i feel like after that it's, it's been a little downhill for me but i feel like the guardians of the galaxy movies are just so fun sorry my camera died um but i feel like the guardians of the galaxy movies are just like really fun like they're fun time so even if i'm not as into the marvel cinematic universe aspect as much as I once was. I feel like I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna enjoy it. It's gonna be a fun time. At least that's what I'm thinking going in. Stay tuned. And then I'll come back at like six, swap with Steven and spend the rest of the evening with Grace. Oh my God. I could not stop crying at the ending. The ending just freaking hit. I don't want to give major spoilers, but minor plot spoilers ahead here as I just kind of share my my thoughts. I literally just got back in the car after the theater. Remember when I said Guardians of the Galaxy is always a fun time? I will say, uh not all of this movie was like just a fun time. There was a lot of it that was really dark and kind of hard to watch at parts. There still was a, a good amount of that like fun, goofy, action-y, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy flair. Definitely still had that element, but we learn a lot of Rocket's backstory and it is dark, like really dark. And then I don't know, I don't know if, if this is the last Guardians of the Galaxy movie, but the way that it ended really ties things up nicely for this to kind of be the last one. And gosh, the ending for Drax. Oh my God, the ending for Drax. <laughs> if you've seen the movie, um, let me know your your thoughts in the comments because it, wa it was a lot. It was a lot. All right, well, now it is time for me to head home, swap with Steven and let him experience this movie too. Well, it is 8.10, so Steven is well into his movie at this point. I am trying to decide what I wanna do with the rest of my evening. Steven and I were thinking that when he gets back tonight, we'll put together the two new raised beds for the garden so that tomorrow we can fill them with the soil and do the planting. But also I'm low-key thinking like maybe I just do that now myself because if I remember correctly, the two that we currently have that we put together last year were like really straightforward to put together and these are the exact same ones, which by the way, I will link these beds in the description. They've been great for us and they were like on the lower end pricing wise. So pretty satisfied with them, satisfied enough that we bought two more. Um, anyways, last year they were pretty easy. I feel like I can definitely do it myself. And then when he gets back, we can just chill relax, maybe watch some TikTok, maybe just go to bed early. I'm either gonna do that or go upstairs for a little bit and do like 45 minutes of work. I just have one thing that's like minorly pressing, like I really can wait until Monday, but if I have time to do it now, that's even better. Um, but I don't know, let's, let's, go, let's go check out these raised beds. All right, you guys, we're doing it. 
I've got a playlist of Hunger Games fan fiction videos queued up to listen to. Is anyone else deep in like a Hunger Games resurgence phase because of the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes movie coming out soon? Or is that just me? Because I had really not thought about Hunger Games since I was like, 16 and all of a sudden re-listening to the books consuming all of the fan content anyways let's build You know what? The camera battery is blinking. Uh, you you saw us put this one together. It's gonna be exactly the same for the second. So let's cut to tomorrow morning when they're all set up in the yard. Woo! Woo! Here they are. Do you see Grace? There's two new beds and a snail. Yeah, and there's a little snail friend. Are you blowing him kisses? That's very sweet, Grace. Very excited to get these filled up with the raised bed soil today, get some planting in. We're gonna be transferring some of the seedlings to the open areas in this raised bed as well, and um, some into the big pots. picked up the camera and it was off so uh, I imagine the uh, nice montage that I did not go through but first bed done second bed to go um, I told see we were supposed to do one each uh, or at least Sierra really wanted to help out I told her just let me do it like I don't know I'm in the zone I'll just bang this out so I guess I'll do one more and then um, Grace and uh, Sierra can start planning so um, in typical Steven fashion, uh, as soon as Sierra finished, fixed my battery issue, I started working and memory card died. So that was very tragic. Um, anyways, I finished the other bed. So, I'm done. Um, well, at least done with that part. Sierra brought me breakfast. I just finished eating that. It was very delicious. I'm gonna go in and shower now. I just made a cup of coffee. I'm gonna go have a coffee, uh, a shower coffee, which I'm very excited for. All right, we are getting ready to go outside and start planting. Huge shout out to Steven for doing all of the manual labor this morning, getting the beds filled, so excited. Um, I have my garden plan here that I wrote out back in March and I'm pretty much sticking to this with just like one little change. And then the other exciting thing I just did to get ready to plant is uh, take all of my little plant markers and write down the names of each plant that I sourced from you guys in the comments of previous vlogs. So all of these names were suggestions from you guys. So thank you. Later when everything's planted and marked, we can go through and I'll show you guys all of the names and put the comments on screen of who suggested it because they're, they're so creative. I picked mostly puns with also a couple just like random ones that caught my eye. So here's the garden plan. We decided to go with watermelon in this bed and I also bought onion seeds, but I'm going to wait and use those until winter. I didn't realize that it was too late into the season to really get a good return on those so we're just gonna do watermelon in the main part of this bed the red sunflowers in the back and then some basil in the front so that's with the first new bed and then the second new bed is gonna be our butterfly garden with cosmos and oh that's another change I didn't make these are now these are now gonna be poppies and then uh, native milkweed in the middle cosmos in the front also gonna be doing some planting in my big pots which this is probably something I'll wait to do later in the week because I don't think we're gonna have enough time but this is gonna be the garden layout we've got all of our plant names here and then um, 
I have some seedlings for other family and friends. So I just wrote out their initials and then what I am giving to them in the little pots from Dollar Tree. So then they can transfer it into their own garden. But Kenzie said her favorite part last year about the plants I gave her was the names because it made her feel invested. So Kenzie's plants are also getting named. <laughs> All right, my little seedlings, it is, it's time for you to leave the nest, spread your leaves and uh go out to live into the garden let's plant all right first thing i'm gonna do is mix in my compost this right here is all from the loamy i've been saving it up now i'm gonna put some in and then i'm gonna rake it all up mix it up i really should have done this while steven was doing the dirt but i didn't think about it so we'll do it now you want to come garden did you and daddy get dressed Oh good. Well then sounds to me like you're ready to go. I have your gloves. Very nice. You did it. Okay, should we put them on the ground right here? Alright. You wanna put your tomato down right there? You wanna nice. Get one Would you like one more? Okay, let's put your gloves on. Yeah, then you can grab all the dirt. Oh, look at her with the dirt. Good job, hun. Okay, you ready to start planting? Yeah. You guys, I am done for today. We made amazing progress. I'm super happy with it. And I am so sweaty and tired. I'm gonna hop in the pool real quick, then take a shower, then get changed, then uh, give you guys a little updated garden tour. Okay, I am running a little bit late here. Uh, we're actually supposed to leave in five minutes. So I am just getting ready really quick. Steven's mom just got here, who's watching Grace for the evening. And then uh, as soon as I finish this clip, finish getting ready, we will be, we'll be heading out. So I'm gonna continue this vlog tomorrow morning with the garden tour. Cause right now I've gotta get going. We are doing a D&D one shot campaign with with our friends tonight, which I am so excited for. It's Dungeons and Dragons, D&D. It's like a nerdy, mythical, role-playing tabletop kind of game. And usually you play like a story out over months or sometimes even years with the same characters and the same people, but you can also do what's called a one-shot like we're doing tonight where you do a condensed storyline all in one sitting. So we have five hours set aside for that tonight. It's gonna be super fun. But unfortunately that does mean I am out of time for the garden tour today. So we're gonna go ahead and pick up the vlog tomorrow morning and continue with that. But until then, Steven and I are off to fight some imaginary dragons and such, and I will see you tomorrow. Hello, good morning. Are you ready for this garden tour? Because I I'm so excited to show you. So here we have our four raised beds, starting with the furthest one. This is our butterfly garden bed. We have Cosmos in the front and then the native milkweed plants. And I actually made a last minute change to plant the Velvet Queen sunflowers in this bed instead of bed three. Since I already planted sunflowers in bed two, I thought it would look nice for it to be like alternating. So there's that bed. And then bed three, we have the California poppies in the front and then in the main part of the bed is where I planted all of the watermelon seeds and then in the back we have more cosmos but of a different variety these are candy stripe cosmos and then bed two is unchanged we have the marigolds in the front zucchini in the middle and sunflowers in the back oh you know what did change though is I added the names of the zucchini plants we have zucchini Hungry, Danny Zuck-o, get it? And 
Jeff Probst. Absolutely iconic names. Thank you, everyone. And then in bed one, we have the cilantro marigolds going down the middle, which co-planting marigolds with tomatoes is supposed to be a natural deterrent for tomato hornworms. So I'm hoping that helps since that was such a big problem last year. Um, and then we also have two hot peppers in the front and then one, two, three, four tomato plants in the back. And with the hot peppers, I decided to name them all after the Spice Girls because it was just too perfect. So we have ginger spice in the front, sporty spice on the other side, and my other three Spice Girl peppers are being planted in pots. For the tomatoes, we have Tomato Holland, <laughs> Tomato Swift, Tomatoa from Moana, and Jeffrey. Hi, Jeffrey. And then over here, we have all of the pots that I'm gonna be transferring some of these seedlings into. This is my little makeshift seedling loading dock. So I put all the seedlings for my family and friends in these little small pots just to transport them and buy some time until they'll need to move it into the garden or a bigger pot. And then I also have some of my seedlings mixed in here too that are going to be transferred into these big pots. Oh, I also didn't even get to tell you any of my bell pepper names because these are all going in pots. Last year I did some bell peppers in pots and some in the garden beds. The one in the garden beds just totally flopped and the ones in the pots did way better. So I I'm going all potted bell peppers this year. We have Harry Pepper, Taco Bell, Bell Sprout, Bella, where the hell have you been, Loca? And then going to Kenzie, Belly Button. Kenzie's also getting Tomater, the tomato plant, and Baby Spice, the hot pepper. We've also got my sweet Scary Spice and Posh Spice back there. They need pots. Oh, and I have two more tomato plants going in pots named Phineas and Ferb. I think that's all the names, right? Wow, I I don't know. Just doing all of this made me so excited for what it's gonna look like in a couple months. I feel like, you know, already seeing the progress and the greenery coming up just makes me so happy. I can't even wait until everything's like flowering and producing vegetables. You know what? I'm gonna take a before photo right here, or I guess it's not before, it's like deering. But I wanna take a picture so that in a couple months, eh, we'll do a video too, so that in a couple months we can see just how far it's come. So that is my updated garden tour. I, I am so excited about it. I've just had so much fun getting into gardening as a hobby. I have so much fun with it and it's really nice that it's something that like Stephen and Grace can do and we can all just be involved in it as a family. And I'm excited to, to keep watching it grow. So uh, if you wanna follow along, make sure you're subscribed. I will continue to share updates. I also share updates over on my Instagram. So if you wanna see it more in real time, you can follow there. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this vlog. Vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, this is gonna be a behemoth to edit. There's so much footage and so many like long hour clips of us just like putting the beds together, filling it with dirt, doing the planting. So good luck to me, but uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.